All right, I have created this screencast so you can go back and reuse it um, as a reference in case you have any questions and I'm not around. Um, this is what the home page is going to look like when you first get logged in. Um, when you press this button here, home, this is always going to be the page that it brings you back to. Um, as you can see here, this is going to give you some of your status information um, on how your yearbook is in progress. Um, <clears throat> you can see as of this point, the completed tasks, the cover has been submitted. You can see when it was submitted um, and then the deadline that it had to be submitted by and then it was done. Um, you can see that the deadline for the page one and for the rest of the um, pages one through 28 has to be done by the third or by the 21st. Um, I am wanting to have it finished before that just because I know that doing it over spring break is going to be very difficult and um, we all have other things that we'll need to do. <clears throat> um, also the final quantity is due the same at the same point that we always have the submission of the yearbook done so I try to do those at the same time um, so if you're ever curious about when those need to be done this will always be here in the status section of the home page when you come up to organize all you have to do is hover and it will bring up these sections when you hover over organize you can get an idea of working on parts of the yearbook. Um, you can plan, you can work on the cover and end sheets which we have already done. Um, then there are other sections here. Honestly when you are working on the yearbook the one page or the one section that you're probably going to go to most is going to be build. Um, but before I go to that, I want you to stay here on Organize for just a second because the one part of this that you are probably going to use the most is when you come over to Image Upload. This is going to be where you go to upload images from your computer to um, the uh, LifeTouch yearbook website. This is how we are going to put pictures um, on the or into the um, website so I will go into more detail about how to do that um, here in the presentation a little bit later I just wanted to show you that this is one of the ways that you do that you can also do that by scrolling down here and go to image upload once you have uploaded images, your image library, the pictures that are already uploaded into the LifeTouch website will be here in the library that's already there. Um, when you're actually working in the website, build is going to be the section that you're going to go to most of the time. So I'm going to click there. <clears throat> and when you go to build and it gets pulled up it takes a little bit of time because it's loading all of the images all of the work that has already been completed to this point that's where you're going to see all of the individual pages that have been worked on as you can see um, a chunk of it has already been finished um, what hasn't been done is obviously going to be grayed out. Those are the things that you can see we are still going to need to work on for this school year. Um, I will show you individually how to do certain things throughout the presentation, but I'm just um, kind of showing you piece by piece here where things are at. Um, <clears throat> to work on an individual page all you're going to need to do once you have came here to build and it brings you to this page is just actually click on it and it's going to blow it up into an even bigger size and it's going to let you see 
more in a book form what it's going to look like and <clears throat> you will be able to work more individually on those specific pages. Um, one thing that I will suggest and I will remind you over and over again as you do work on a page whether it is adding text, changing pictures, changing students names, taking a student out, adding a student who is not pictured, um, adding a student here to the collage page, any work that you do before you move on to a different page come up here to the good old-fashioned floppy disk and make sure you click save. Um, it will remind you if you try to move on and you haven't saved, it will remind you that you need to save any of your saved work. But just in case, uh, if you try to move on without saving, it will um, not save any of your work and you could potentially lose a lot of time. And so that's always, always one thing that I do, um, just to make sure you don't forget. Um, Something that uh, I will show you here in a little bit, but is here, um, you can add pictures like this one here. There is obviously an image needs to be dropped there. We would go to our images in our image library. Remember, that's where I said images have already been saved to the web or the website and if they had been broken down into indiv individual grades or just miscellaneous we would view them all and we would just start going through and selecting pictures that would match up with that individual grade level when you find one that you think works great I'm not going to use it. Obviously, that one's pixelated and distorted. We would need to find a better picture. Um, you find a picture that works great and matches up with the grade level. And, you know, say that one did. I'm, I'm not going to use it, but say that one did. It's as simple as clicking and dragging and dropping it right into the picture. It goes right in there and then you can kind of move it around a little bit, make it fit. Once you find and it works perfect and you love it, you save it and it's that easy. Um, I'm going to undo that because I know those students don't fit there. So Anyway, I will go into more detail as we go along, but um, that's just the section as you're working on the yearbook and you're wanting to add things. It just is in that build area and it's just that easy.